Okay, so far so good. That's all for the input section, and then we can click calculate. You see the calculation is very, is very, very fast. Time elapsed is only 0 0.086. Click OK, and you get the result. Results including treatment, fracture dimensions, the productivity improvement, the recommended pumping schedule, and the pet fluid. And you can also get the visualization result, the initial length, initial width, final length, final width, the productivity, and then the results table. Okay, so this is the big table. You can again click and copy tables and paste on your spreadsheet. But let's check the treatment. So you get the treatment volume, the pumping rate, fracture fluid apparent viscosity and others you can check and the, the fracture dimension you get the initial fracturing height and initial fracture length per radius fracture width fracture height and other things and this is the recommended pumping schedule but the most important thing that we want to know is the productivity improvement here and here we have case one and from here, we have actually 66 cases constructed by the Prosper. So it's amazing. At a very short time, you have constructed 66 possible cases. And of course, you want to find which case give you the base productivity index improvement. Again, the original productivity index is five. And if you check this column on the on the right side, you get the productivity index improvement or the productivity index starting from 10 and then 10.3, 10.4, 10.6, 10.8, all the way. You can check what is the highest productivity index after the fracturing. If we just screen through, I think we can get the highest possible productivity improvement maybe is I think this one 11.87 that's the highest productivity index after fracturing so let's check again I think this one 10.8 or not this one this is only 10 so the highest one i think this one 11.87 so we have that for the case 66 we can change this arrow let's find case 66 this one so for case 66 the result is here the treatment so the treatment volume 4000 barrels with pumping rate of 400 barrel per minute and then this is the fracture dimension that we get and we get productivity improvement of from 5 here productivity index before 5 and now after the fracturing it's 11.87 okay and then the pumping schedule so you can copy this pumping schedule copy table and paste on your spreadsheet all right so that's very good so this is the recommended pumping schedule you get the pumping type pumping pumping time volume pumped and then the fracture length that you get fracture width and then the propane concentration propane amount propane total you get that from this software and then this is the pet stage. OK, so again, if you want to check, this is the fracture length and this is the final length that you get the length of your fracture and then the final width of your fracture. So again, long story short, we get productivity after the fracturing of 11.87 and we will yeah, we will we will input this value 
11.87. Okay. So we click done. 